today we're going to be answering a question. Are case to five cases worth it? Let's check it out. Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is David with Side of Tech. As mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be covering two Caseify cases today, the Caseify Clear case and the Caseify Bounce case. We're gonna be covering key features, pros and cons, and then we're also gonna be doing a drop test. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and see if the hype was worth it. Starting off with the key features for both of these cases. Both of these versions include MagSafe. The magnet that Caseify includes is really strong, which can easily lift this Nomad Base 1 charging station that weighs roughly around 515 grams or 1 and a tenth pounds. Both of them are made from recycled material. I really love when phone case companies do this. It's just a great way to reuse phone cases that we normally throw away. You might know the company Caseify from all their crazy prints that they produce. If I showed you all the prints, collaborations, accessories, we'd probably be here all day. Let's take a focused look at the features for the clear case. A case weighing only 51 and a half grams is pretty crazy when you consider it has around six and a half feet of drop protection. You also have raised edges and a raised camera bump with minimal play to protect your phone from all day wear. Another important key feature for a clear case to have is to have anti-yellowing properties. Caseify says that their UV protection technology will protect you from not only the sun, but also from stains like from wine or mustard. The clear case for the iPhone 14 Pro retails at $78. Although pricey, Caseify usually runs sales all year round, so definitely be on the lookout for one. Moving on from the clear case features, let's go ahead and talk about the bounce case. This case here is basically Caseify's flagship phone case. It offers the best grip and the best overall protection for your phone. It has these raised bezels that help with slipping out of your hand or sliding it across a desk. But the best feature hands down has to be Caseify's EcoShock protection technology. This right here allows you to have 21 feet of drop protection. Easily my favorite feature from this phone case. It's good to know because the retail price of this phone case goes for $92 for the iPhone 14 Pro model. A hefty price tag to be sure, but that peace of mind of knowing that your phone is protected from any kind of drop, I'd say it's well worth it. Now that we talked about all those features, let's go ahead and cover the pros and cons. First, let's talk about the positives of each one of these cases. I really like the way the clear case looks and its style. Some might say it might actually look like any other clear case, but I don't know. I really love the case of eye branding. It just gives it some kind of extra character. This one's definitely made for those who just want to show off their phone and nothing more. I feel like they really have a lock on trendy cases. Next is the feel because this case is solid. The buttons feel great to push and everything is so tactile. It's not too sensitive or mushy. You don't have to worry about the case flexing on you because it is sucked onto your phone. Again, the rigidity is very nice. It gives you the right amount of fit to where your phone will not fly out, but will give you the right amount of fit to where you can still pop off the case if you need to. Now with the bounce case, I totally thought this case wasn't going to be my cup of tea, but boy was I wrong. I really do love the handling of this case. For one, the grip is amazing. Like there's no way this case will ever feel the need to slip out of your hands. The non-slipperiness is definitely the best part. The cool thing is the grip isn't too grippy either. If you're a back pocket or front pocket phone holder, you don't have to worry about any kind of snagging. My next favorite thing has to be that drop protection. Where the clear case is not really made for crazy drops, I didn't really have any kind of fear that this would not protect my phone. I'll demonstrate this more in the drop test, but let's go ahead and go over some cons first. So for the clear case, I really don't like how easily it can get scratched up. Now I do think this might just be a clear case problem because even the Apple one had this problem as well. Now while I can overlook some of these scratches, what really bothers me is the slipperiness of this case. As you can see here, the case really does slide over my desk really easy. My solution to this is maybe adding some ribs or some kind of inlets that will help with the grip. Just a little something to help take the edge off. And I'm glad to say on the bounce case, this is not an issue. Speaking of which, I also have a couple of gripes with with the bounce case. The main thing being fingerprints. This might have to do with the color that I got, but luckily these fingerprints can easily be rubbed away. The corners, while being really great at absorbing drops, show the most wear out of everything on the case. I mean, I would still technically classify this as a rugged case, so it's to be expected, but it's something to look out for for those who just want to keep their stuff clean. And finally, while this case does feel like a slimmer case, the edges do make the phone a little bit bulkier in the pocket, so if you're a skinny jean wearer, just be on the lookout for that. Alright, so now 
the moment at last. Let's go ahead and see what these cases can do in a full on drop test. My drop test will include a pocket height drop, which is about three feet, and then an ear height drop, just to simulate you talking on the phone and having it fall out of your hand. Also, the flooring is cement covered with vinyl, so there's barely any shock absorption. Let's see how each case does. So safe to say that all the cases and more importantly my phone survived all the drop tests. Okay so let's go ahead and answer our question, are Caseify cases worth it? Let's answer that with my rating system. Buy at full price, try it out, wait for a sale, or completely pass. I'd say for the clear case you're better off buying this on a sale. Now in my own opinion I truly believe this is the best clear case out on the market. But a clear case at this price is definitely pushing it. If you wait for a sale or wait for one of your favorite collabs then I'd say definitely get this. Now for the bounce case, this one truly surprised me. I initially was going to say wait for a sale, but I really want you guys to try this case out. The grip, the feel, and that 10 out of 10 drop protection, and you could get a print or customize this thing out. Definitely try this one out, you guys. Caseify offers 10 days, no questions asked returns if you decide to change your mind. And that's how I feel about the Caseify cases. Definitely worth the hype. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. I want to thank all my old and new subscribers and wish all you guys a Merry Christmas. Let me know what you think about these cases here from Caseify. I think they did really great. They survived all my drop tests today. I am also super glad to say that my phone survived 100% of these drops. But let me know your opinion down in the comments below. I really want to hear what you got to say about this. Also, follow me on all my social media, especially my Instagram, at Side of Tech. That's where I go ahead and post all my photos and reels and a whole bunch of fun stuff so feel free to check that one out and with all that being said this is david serving you a little side of tech and i'll see you in the next video god bless you guys and merry christmas